guys! Welcome to my channel. So today, I decided to recreate Catherine Bernardes' makeup look sa movie niya na Can't Help Falling In Love. So, ito yung look that I came up with. Um, simple lang siya actually. It's an everyday makeup look. Suitable siya for work, for school. Just a little disclaimer, this is not a makeup transformation. This is just a Catherine Bernardes inspired makeup look. Sinubukan ko lang i-mimic yung makeup style na she had on for the movie. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. I already moisturized and, and primed my face. So para sa base ko, I'm gonna mix Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 220 and uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC35. I want the dewiness from the Maybelline Fit Me and the coverage from the Studio Fix. Napaka-overpowering lang talaga ng smell ng mga MAC foundation. Kinda smells like paint. Pero so far, hindi naman ako nagbe-break out from them. So, okay lang. In-ignore ko naman yung smell. This time, maglalagay naman ako ng concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20. So, lalagyan ko lang siya under my eyes. As in, konting-konti lang. I'm gonna remove the excess pa. Put it sa nose to highlight yung center kasi sobrang tangos ng ayong mga cream bernardo. And gagawa natin yan ang paraan. So, sa center ng forehead, especially dun sa mga problem areas, pero konti lang. So ngayon, I'm just gonna blend this carefully. As you can see, konti lang yung ginamit ko na concealer kasi we used the full coverage foundation and so far yung mga blemishes ko na cover na niya. So ginamit ko lang to a little bit just to highlight yung mga areas na gusto ko yung lift. set my entire face using this translucent powder right here. This is by Essence. Um, so, lalagay ko lang siya under the eyes. No need to bake, guys. And, kaya translucent powder yung ginamit ko kasi para hindi na madagdagan yung coverage. So, isiset ko lang yung areas na nilagyan natin ng concealer. And yung rest na matitira sa brush, yun yung isi-spread ko sa ibang parts ng face. Para mapanatili natin yung luminosity ng face natin. Yun, I'm gonna contour my face. Um, gagamitin ko na product is this one by Catrice. This is their professional contouring palette. Um, napansin ko sa contour ni... Catherine Bernardo is medyo mababa yung placement ng contour niya here. So, na-emphasize talaga yung high cheekbones niya. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of product dito. I have to be very careful. Next is yung jawline. Huwag natin kalimutan. Maganda yung shape ng jawline ni Catherine. So, emphasize lang natin. Can you see the difference pag tinitin nyo yung straight ahead? So, mas may dimension tong kabilang side. So, I'm gonna do the same thing sa other side. And I'm just gonna contour my nose. I'm just gonna use my fingers. So, um, I'm trying to make it look as slim as possible. I'm gonna use this one by Essence, the Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. Um, yung blush ni Kathleen Bernardo is just 
pink, baby pink. So nothing fancy. I'm not using a matte blush. I'm actually using something that has a little bit of shimmers in it. Kasi nga, as I said, tinatry ko na i-keep yung luminosity. Medyo mataas siya mag-blush. Right here. Sa apples mismo. So ngayon, I'm gonna bronze my skin. Um, I'm using this bronzer by Kiko. So, dito ko siya nilalagay sa cheekbones. Sa base ng cheekbones. And here too. So, contour niya dito, diba? Nasa baba. And then, dito ko ilalagay yung bronzer. Sa taas. And dito sa forehead. So, basically, kung saan tinatamaan ng araw. Um, gusto ko sana maglagay sa nose. Okay, maglalagay ako na ko. Sa chin. So, ito. I think this is it. Oh, no. Before ko makalimutan, maglalagay ako ng kong highlight. Um, I'm gonna use this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Kasi nga, diba? Sobrang taas ng cheekbones ni Kat. So, walk ka. Close kami, yun, no? So, magsasmile ako and then I'm gonna focus it. Actually, nakikita nyo na ba? Luminous na siya kahit hindi ko nalagyan. Pero, lalagyan ko pa rin. Para, talagang bongga yung highlight. So, I'm gonna smile and just dust it sa top ng cheeks ko. Kung napapansin nyo, parang, ba diba, medyo dark na yung face ko compared sa body ko. So, I'm just gonna fix that. Gagamitin ko ulit yung fan brush na ginamit ko for the highlight. Medyo iba bronze ko yung chest ko ng konti. Going back dun sa powder brush, ibe-blend ko lang lahat together. So, just tap it like that, guys. Huwag nyong i-buff, huwag nyong i-ikutan kasi baka ma-move yung mga products na ginamit natin kanina. So, tap, tap, tap. To blend everything in. Mag-move na tayo sa kilay, sa mata, and then sa lips para matapos na ito. For my brows, gagamitin ko tong um, Nichido Minerals Precise Eye Pencil in Chestnut. sa eyes. Um, gagamitin ko lang din tong bronzer para dun sa eyes. Kasi, hindi naman masyadong OA yung eye, eye shadow niya. So, sa ilalim nga lang ng mata, medyo mahirap. So, gagamit na ako ng brush as in konti-konti lang. So, this time, I'm gonna put mascara on. This is by Kiko Milano. So, ayan careful lang sa paglalagay kasi manipis lang naman yung ganap sa eyelashes niya. Hindi naman OA. And, lagyan nyo ng konti yung lower lash line pero konti lang. So, for the lipstick, I started wearing it na. I'm using the Givenchy um, Brown Vintage. Sobrang light lang nito. Para lang siyang lip balm actually. Siguro maglalagay ako ng falsies para lang mas makita yung lashes ko. Pero I think okay na to. You could go, um, you could pull this off actually without using falsies. Sa tingin ko, wala siyang false eyelashes dun sa makeup niya. But ito, natural lang naman to. So you will barely see this. This is by Makeup Forever um, Lash Show Natural Impact. So, N205. 